Hey folks, Legion Archery here. The title of this video is gonna be how to make thousands in primitive archery and bow making. Well, I, I've been doing this since 2000 and I believe it's, it was 2001 when I started making bows. Obviously at that time, uh, I, at that time I was not selling any bows because I had just started, I must have been I must have been 12 or 13. I was. In, I remember I was in the sixth, uh, sixth grade, I believe, and it was around the month of September when I started researching. I had always been, I had always had an affinity, or I, I always had an interest in archery. When I saw the movies and I saw the Native Americans off their horse uh, shooting bows and arrows, those old Western movies, if any of you can recall, I absolutely uh, wanted to make a bow ever since I couldn't remember probably the first grade kindergarten I I had always uh, had an interest I don't know why I don't know how I don't know you know it, it just it drew me to it so uh, I remember when I was younger one of my uncles made me a bow it was just a, a stick bow and I, I loved it uh, fast forward to when I was around 12 I started doing some research I had the I had the internet then I, I, you know, I was I was using the computers, and so I I would Google stuff how to make bows and arrows, and so I came across one of uh, the first books that I bought was uh, making Native American bows and arrows by I believe it's Spotted Eagle Douglas. That's the first book that I ever uh, got on the subject. I after 2001, I believe I made bows until 2000 and was 2007 2008 at that time I was going to the university at the university I, I still kept making bows uh, during all that time but then when I started going to the university I started a website and when I started the website I started posting a blog I, I don't remember if I started posting videos then but I remember I posted a blog on the website and it was my first blog was about Cherokee style uh, debos and from that blog at that time I was looking for a job uh, while I was going to college but um, nobody would hire me nobody would hire me at a at, at I remember I applied at In-N-Out Burger and a few other places I really didn't want to work in that type of environment but I had to so when you have to you just have to do what you have to do and so you know I I applied I, I got a little antsy and I was like you know what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start selling bows. You know, I had this skill. I, you know, I had made a few bows since 2001. I had made some bows, and when I decided to do that, I actually got a message from that, uh, from from that blog post that I had posted about Cherokee style bows. At that time, there wasn't a lot of information, and so anybody looking, they come came across my post, and so I remember um, this one guy the guy that bought the bow from me the Cherokee style bow that was the first bow I sold I believe I it was an Osage orange bow I believe it was 300 bucks 300 dollars and so I sold it to this gentleman I did not ask for a deposit so very important I'm gonna post a few other videos on the archery business but the reason the title of this post is how to make thousands um, selling bows or primitive art in primitive archery is because I firmly believe and I made I made a few thousand dollars uh, when I was doing this full time at that time when I was at the university obviously I wasn't doing it full time plus um, I still had to market myself and make sure I had I kept the clients coming in but at that time you know it was a it was a good start and I, you know I was bringing in I was bringing in some money that was my first client after that um, I had a couple other clients I, I didn't ask for a deposit then and then I got burned by one guy who uh, was from Spain actually I was building a bow I built I built a couple of bows for him one of them he paid for it and everything but then um, there was a second order he never came through on that and so I was stuck with a bow which was fine because it was actually a very a very good looking bow and I was able to sell that bow uh, to somebody else in my local area so um, I learned my lesson so anytime the lesson was anytime somebody wants a bow you absolutely need to ask for a deposit no ifs, ands or buts 
because people are going to promise you, I'm going to pay you, I'm going to have the money for you, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. All of that is just talk. Just talk. You absolutely want to get a deposit, no matter what. Get a deposit or don't start the boat. I would always collect the deposit. I still do. Collect the deposit for the wood. You know, the stave might cost you 60, 70, 80, 100, 150, whatever it costs you. Uh, you at least want to ask for that up front. So ask for that and then, um, you know, work, start working on the boat. And so doing this, I started building, you know, a clientele. I think I, that's when I started uh, posting YouTube videos, which must have been seven or eight years ago. Or actually, I didn't start posting videos until 2010, 2011, I believe. And, but, you know, I still kept making bows, taking orders, shipping them out. When I graduated, uh, which was 2000, <laughs> let's see, 2011, I believe I graduated, or around there. And for a brief period of time, I did, I did do this full time, and so I believe I kept the accounting on that. I made must have made around thirteen, fourteen thousand uh, gross, you know, which is not a lot of money. But you did, I didn't make more than a thousand, right? So, hence the title, how to make thousands. In my opinion, it's very difficult for you to make more than. Twenty, thirty thousand dollars doing something like this. Number one, the numbers um, margin-wise are not are not necessarily there. You really have to be well known for that to happen. So that might take a few years for you to build a reputation. For example, anytime you're gonna build a bow, um, you know, right now the pricing it starts from two hundred. Three, two, three, four hundred dollars. There's a lot of competition because anybody can go. They'll cut a piece of wood, you know, with decent. A few watching a few videos here and there, and you know, practicing a few times, you can get relatively proficient. And you know, anybody can start selling bows. Generally, people don't do this full time, so they're just gonna, you know, get rid of them and sell them cheap, two hundred, three hundred bucks. Um, you know that's what you can get you could probably get more um, because I've been in the industry for such a long time since 2011 then obviously that does that does come into play and so anybody who wants one of my bows you know I can I can charge a little bit more just because I have that experience under my, my belt and so when you have more experience you can also use um, more challenging pieces of wood and that is that also commands a higher price because you're taking more time uh, to make the bow as opposed to getting a board and making a board bow. The board bows because you know obviously you're just getting pieces of wood that are already nice and straight. Those tend to be a lot quicker to make, and they're gonna be you know a little bit uh, less pricey because you're not dealing with all the imperfections um, or the or the character in the staves, and so you know if you can knock them out fast enough you can absolutely make twenty thirty thousand dollars that's gross after your expenses you're probably netting you know your expenses are not too much but still it is hard work and so anybody uh, looking to get into the industry you can absolutely make it happen but you have to take different avenues not just not just strictly making bows um, the arrows part of it arrows I tell people they're more time consuming than bows and you can't really sell the arrows for as much as you can sell the bows or I mean some people can but it's very difficult because you have the large manufacturers and those large manufacturers they will sell a dozen arrows for 80 bucks 100 bucks 120 or maybe even 150 dollars to make a dozen arrows trust me it's gonna be a lot more work than making uh, one bow so, you know, a bow, you might get, let's say you get 300, but a dozen arrows you might get, let's say you're on the high end, 200, 250. That's, that's definitely not, you know, worth the time that you're going to put into it, unless you can knock them out some way, somehow. But, uh, but you know, at that note, on that note, what I did um, some years ago is I just stopped making arrows. I just stopped because, you know, I... It wasn't worth the time that you that I that I had put into it. So, um, if you're gonna 
do something like this you want to start a business making bows or you know you're just doing it as a hobby you know I would probably stick to not making arrows if you do you definitely want to make sure that your time is worth it some people are already making them and since they're already making them hey you know what they just sell them and they under under price and that's you know that's that's what happens but um, if any for anybody doing this full time that absolutely loves it there's gonna be more you need more um, avenues of cash flow not just bow making to do you must absolutely have a passion for it and uh, you're not gonna get rich off of it it's difficult to get rich off of it unless you have other avenues uh, of cash flow coming in but it, I can tell you this it is very fun to do very uh, rewarding when you have a piece that you made with your hands and somebody else uh, shoots and perhaps harvests some game I've had a couple of clients that have sent me pictures of what they harvested with one of my pieces which is pretty cool and pretty rewarding to see uh, other than that if you have any questions uh, post them down in the uh, comment section I don't know if you guys like this types of types of videos and my insights on the business aspect of like uh, primitive archery and bow making if you do just drop me a line down in the comments and I can post some other videos if you guys have questions and clarify anything based on my experience anyways uh, thank you for watching and if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe